Hello friends, welcome to the world of learning and growing. I am Dr. Purnima Kale and today we are here to discuss the importance of routine in our daily lives. So by the term routine, it seems very boring or it seems an activity that you repeat every day. But there is a scientific evidence that these activities help us live longer and take better decisions. So let's start with understanding some neurobiology of our brain. And as I am a doctor, I would give a medical perspective to it so that you understand it better. So our uh, neurons, that is the brain cells, are connected to each other and they form synapses or transmissions by which every decision or everything that we do is connected. So when the neurons are fired, then only our body gets a signal that we have to do something or we have to get up or we have to do certain tasks. So in this way, the neurotransmitter that is present so that the transmission can be done this is limited in our brain so it is not an abundant supply and therefore throughout the day we have a constant supply of limited neurotransmitter and if we try and take every decision consciously it will take up a lot of neurotransmitter and you would be fatigued and exhausted and therefore this has been a mechanism so that you your brain is well protected your, your neurotransmitter will be used for a better thing or a better conscious decision therefore we have to set a routine in our daily life that is very very important so this is done automatically as you grow up so age 0 to 7 is the time where you are most influential where you look at your surroundings you try to gain and absorb everything that you have and your personality is created at the age of 0 to 7 and after that until you die it is mostly the repetition of the same patterns so yes whatever you learn up till age of 7 whatever influences you have in your surroundings shapes your personality shapes your routines and your patterns so it is very interesting to know that whenever we have a routine every day we all have different routines so some people get up and have a bed tea or some people try and uh, just read the newspaper as soon as you get up some people get up brush up freshen up and then go for a morning walk so whatever your routine is it is mostly linked to what you have seen in that age and this routine you don't have to think when you get up just to follow the things that are coming up throughout your day. Even your eating patterns, your exercise abilities, your financial decisions, everything is linked to your routine. So if you have a habit of not working out or somebody in your uh, vicinity or the place is not working out and you are following the similar pattern, that means that it is not inculcated in your routine and it will be very difficult for you to do that. Even with the financial decisions. So if we are uh, seeing in our surrounding that people are overspending right from, right from our childhood, then that gets inculcated in our routine and even at the slightest inconvenience, we would just go to the mall and splurge. So that is, my friends, the importance of routine in our lives. So routine actually helps us make the life easier helps protect the neurotransmitter so that we can take decisions, we can take business decisions, we can take exam decisions, student decisions, whatever important decisions that are required in your life have to be allocated a, a chunk of neurotransmitter and the daily life, the daily course that are going on, that are going on subconsciously or automatically through the brain. So, as we all know, some of the most successful people in the world, such as Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, they all wear a similar kind of dress every single day. So that is their strategy, that is their routine. They don't want to waste their neurotransmitters on deciding what to wear every single day. And therefore, they have a similar wardrobe and they just get up and wear whatever they see in front of them because they don't have to choose. Because in our daily life, we see that many people just spend hours thinking on what to wear to what occasion and a lot of neurotransmitter has been wasted for such a simple decision. So this is what is the importance of routine. And let me tell you one thing, as I've already told you that uh, the routines are created from the age 0 to 7, but routines can be changed. Routines can be created in a new pattern, but that has to be done consciously. So, if you consciously try and inculcate a certain habit, a certain routine in your life, so that your neurons get rewired. It is called as rewiring of your neurons. 
So whatever pattern you were following for a very long time, that has to be broken and a new neural connection, a new neural circuit has to be formed in your brain and then you can follow the change in the routine but that requires time, that requires effort and according to the University College of London, there is a research telling that to create a habit or to create a neural circuitry, we, have, we require 66 days. So if you follow a certain habit for next 66 days, it gets rewired into your brain and that becomes your routine. So if you want, if you understand your pattern, if you want to change certain things, give yourself next 66 days and I'm sure that your brain will remold and rewire itself for your betterment. So my friends, this is the importance of routine and there is a simple hack of 66 days that you can apply and change your routines and I think this is the biggest knowledge or biggest uh, thing that you can understand about your own brain so that you can make it work according to your, your wishes. So thank you, thank you so much for watching and follow the channel for more such content.